Hello and welcome to Feast One's Eyes on Watches. This is a Caseno watch and as you can see it's got some interesting features to it. So let's have a look at these in a lot more detail. I bought this Caseno of AliExpress in a sale and it cost £41.75 and that was with the VAT added for the UK. The leather strap that came with the Caseno is this one and I had some difficulty with the actual buckle on it and uh, so what I've done is that I've changed it out completely and this is the one that was on there and it, it does look quite nice and it's in gold and you'll also notice at the end it's cut away and to put another strap on I've had to cut this so it just fits into place but the buckle on this is just a traditional one where this was a little bit different. Caseno have made the watch face quite interesting and it's been layered so at the very back just underneath where you see the Roman numerals it has like a, a record track and then it's actually raised up a little bit and then you've got the Roman numerals around and about and they are in black and in between each one of these it's actually cut away which makes it very very nice you also see around the outside there's a second track as well the hands on the watch are in a dark blue and hopefully my camera is just picking this up for its price the Caseno has lots of complications and if you look at the very top up here you'll see there is a sun and moon dial down at the very bottom you have an open heart showing the flywheel over here is the actual date as well and on this side is the day so those are all nice features according to Caseno the case is made in stainless steel and then is covered in rose gold the reason I bought this watch is for the shape of where the crown is the case has been cut away and it's got a circle round there then the crown fits inside it then and it's got a little blue jewel on there as well how attractive is that now above and below the crown are two pushes and they control the two dials and i'll explain those in a little while and if you have a look at the finish of this it really is finished to a very very nice standard now, to set the time on the watch with this it's a little bit difficult and I'm just showing you the back end of the crown and guard from here and you really have to get your nail underneath and pull it out and once it's out I can then adjust it quite well and while I'm just turning this around and about, you'll also see that the watch doesn't hack, so the second hand is still moving around. But the sun and moon dial does work quite well as well. The push button on the top here controls the day. If I just press this over for you, you can just see as I'm pushing this in, it just changes the day for you. And the one down at the bottom here controls the actual date and again you can just see as I push this around it just changes those now according to the information that I've got on this it's got 21 jewels in here and it's a fully automatic watch as well the glass in this watch is hardlex and it's quite interesting because when you have a look around to this part here where the crown is it's actually cut away now that looks very nice but if you have had to change that glass it might be a little bit of a problem now the dimensions of the watch are the case across here is 45 mil but the crown guard sticks out that little bit more and gives an extra few mil so that's 48 right the way across this way from lug to lug it's 49 mil the thickness of the watch is 
16.7 mil. I'm not too sure what movement is inside this watch. Obviously with all of its complications, it's something a little bit more different. Uh, but if you've got any ideas on that, uh, I would appreciate it if you let me know. I'll just turn the watch over onto the back so you can have a look at the back. And you can see that the balance wheel on there is engraved and it tells you it's got 21 jewels on there and it's also got the logo on it. And this is a stainless steel case. But you can see this is not screwed down as such. This has got tiny little screw heads and there are four of these to the top to the bottom to hold the case in place. The leather strap is 22 mil. However, I've had to cut this to fit in between these lugs. And I've done this obviously at either end as well. I've just put the Caseno onto my wrist and I have to say it does look rather nice. I do like this unusual shape. Putting the other strap on was definitely a good idea and I think Maybe even putting a black one on might make it look a little bit different again. But overall, I do think it looks good. And it, it feels quite comfortable on the wrist as well. Will the Caseno fit under the cuff? Well, it does. And it fits well. And it looks good as well. Looks quite a nice dressy watch. So I've got to give that a 100% pass. Does the Caseno fit under the cuff with cufflinks? Chose some gold ones and it fits very well and looks really good as well. So I do like that. No snags, feels quite comfortable. So I've got to give that a 100% pass. This is a quirky looking watch. So my suggestions for things to wear with this would be first of all a short sleeve shirt because you could show it off. The next thing is it does look a little bit modern. So go with something a little bit more casual, um, like a beige a jacket and a pair of jeans. Look good as well. And finally, you know, if you want to put a jacket on, put a jumper underneath, but wear the watch just below the cuff so people can see it. To sum up my review of the Caseno fully automatic watch with some nice complications and an unusual crown guard. I do like this because I do like unusual watches. It was a shame about this strap that comes with it. However, I would recommend that if you do buy one of these that you invest in a different strap because this is just a problem when you're trying to tighten it up. Other than that, I think it's quite a nice watch. So can I recommend one of these? Yes, I can. Thank you so much for watching this review. Please remember that I'll be doing lots of other reviews on other interesting watches in the very near future. It would also help this channel immensely if you liked and subscribed. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching this review. Please like and subscribe.